Hello everyone and welcome back to Atari Vault. Today we're going to be playing Code Breaker. I have no idea what this is. Let's find out. Let's actually use the controller for this one. Maybe. Possibly. We'll actually look at the manual and see if the controller is going to be something we want. So how to play? Well, it looks like the numpad, folks. Um, this is going to be sucky. Because the numpad, if you guys remember from the Brain Games episode, is actually upside down. Which is going to suck. Um, yeah, it's really going to suck. This is going to be horrible. Um, especially if it's based on speed at all. If it's based on speed, um, there's no way my left hand has that kind of muscle memory. Because who uses their numpad with their left hand? Unless you're used to using a telephone, I guess? Which is basically how this is set up. So I just turned my keyboard upside down. Because apparently that's how we roll now. Um, so fortunately I can navigate with the mouse. Okay, computer and other players created a secret code. Your mission is to guess the code. The code's identity is affected by number of digits or the number span. Game features code with three or four digits or game features code with numbers from one to nine or one to six. You have 12 guesses to identify the secret code with a keyboard controller. Use the controller to enter the number of digits of your guess into the screen. Computer will then analyze each number digit of your code guess. So, okay, so maybe I don't need to hold my keyboard upside down. Okay, you drink code breaker games of the upper left number refers to the number of guesses players have made during their present game. At the end of the game, the left controller player's score appears in this position. Okay, and right hand score in one player computer game, code breaker game, this number appears throughout the game to show the number of consecutive games of code breaker you've played. Okay, that's a weird thing to dedicate memory to, but all right. Computer secret code. The secret code will appear above the list of player guesses at the end of the game. The number code guess you enter into the computer appears on the left side of the screen. Okay. After you register your player guess with the computer, the computer will spawn with symbols that analyze your guess. Black line signifies one of the number digits in the correct identity and the correct position. White line signifies the number of digits to correct at any but the incorrect position. Hold on. Hold up. Is this a variation on the hacker game in or the hacker mini game in Fallout 4? Or in Fallout 3? Or in Fallout New Vegas? I'm gonna turn my keyboard back around because it looks like we can actually just use it in a regular position. Um Maybe? Flashing square appears in the position, and except it's only done with numbers, and there's no way to reset your tries, or get rid of dummies, but still, a simpler, maybe even the origin of that game, maybe? Maybe? Okay, so one player code breaker, so if player scores during one game is determined by the number of guesses you need to identify the secret number code, Player guesses the code on the sixth guess, the score is six. So objective is to score the lowest possible score. Okay, so, okay, so it's like golf. Okay, lowest score wins. Okay. So that's the keyboard. Handicap. So, B position, you receive 12 guesses. A position, you have eight guesses. All right, it seems like a fairly simple game. Um, then there's Nim, which I didn't even know there was a thing. There's a secondary game to this. Okay. NIM is the oldest mathematical game known to man. In this computer version of NIM, there's one to four stacks of objects. You must take turns with the computer or another player, moving any number of objects from any stack. During a turn, you must take at least one object and can it take object out of one stack. Um, so what's the restriction then? You win the game when you remove the last object from the screen in regular NIM, or in NIM Misery, you lose the game when you remove the last object from the screen. Okay, I've never played Nim, but apparently that's a thing now. All right, so Nim is game modes 13 through 20. Code Breaker is 1 through 12. All right, well, let's play Code Breaker first and then Nim. I guess this is weird. They bundled two games together and then didn't call it out on the front of the box. It probably just says 20 games, right? 20 video games. That's all it says. Oh, it does say Code Breaker Nim. It does. You rotate it back around. 
Rotate, hold up. Don't go to combat. That's dumb. Um, yeah, but there it is. Codebreaker Nim. Okay, just Codebreaker is the big one, but I guess Nim works too. Alright. Sure. So let's go ahead and play Codebreaker first. Um, Alright, sure. Guess digits from 1 to 9. Sure, what the fuck. Why not do it? Alright, I mean, I can just press anything to start off with. So, 4. Um, hold up. You're telling me I have to guess all of them at once? Um, did I screw something up there? I might have screwed something up there. Hold up, I'm confused already. That was fast. Um, did I not read the instructions correctly or something? Go back to the main menu here. Go back to the manual. I want to look at this again. Did how to play not actually tell us what to play? Computer select secret number code. You have 12 guesses to identify the code. Number of guesses equal your point score. Okay, yeah, that's right. Computer select secret number code. It doesn't actually say how to submit the score or submit the code. Controls. See so yeah, a one through nine or one through nine. Big surprise there. Um, hold on, go to the keyboard controls. Do we press pound to submit or star? Help. <laughs> Go to the manual. Maybe it tells us. Maybe I just overlooked it. Just says you have 12 guesses. Um, how do you submit the score, though? Only players guessing has a secret code. Okay. Um... Okay, so I guess it's under using... Yeah, press the pound button. Okay, we don't actually have pound on ours. I think pound turns into... Um, pound is a plus sign, that's right. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and go back in and do that again. Alright, game reset. i like to be able to play now, though. How do we... There we go. So, one. That was the first move, it didn't tell me anything. One is in the right position. So that'd be the four, right? The four is in the correct position? I mean, you're kind of just blind guessing. So we know it has a four at the end. Or no, it just has one of these is right. It's not telling you where. Interesting. Two are now in the correct position. Well, we only changed the one. So we know the one's right. So the one definitely stays there. Um, what if we do... I and mean, that's going to be wrong. Okay. Oh, because we have a one, but it's in the wrong position. Um, so is it like one, two, one, four? Okay, so one and four are definitely correct. So that means... So the middle two then. The middle two we need to change. All right. Um, I mean, I guess you just go straight up, right? One, three, two, four. Nope. Um, one, three. Oh no! Actually, we should. What we should do is only move that one. I mean, I guess the three would have been in the wrong position, so it didn't tell us that. Okay, now suddenly... Oh, that's right, because it's one and the two, huh? One and two? I thought it was... No, that's right. The two and the four are correct. Two and four are correct. That's what's screwing me up. Um, but two and the four are correct. But we moved the two over? 
It moved the two over, but it gave us two plus marks. So would that mean it's... Is it one, two, two, four? I'm really puzzled here. We know the two and four are correct. Um, or is it the one and four? Now I'm all, all turned out. The one is correct, isn't it? The one and the four. But I mean, the two would also have to be. Because it was the one and the four. It's got to be one and two is correct. And then five, six, I don't know. Okay, we have three in the correct position somehow. One, two, five, seven. Takes it away. So the six was correct. So one, two, something, six. It's not four, six, because it would have told us it was in the wrong position. It's not seven, six. It would be eight, six. No. It was 9162. So we had all the digits, but they were in the wrong place? Shouldn't they have given me black lines then? Okay, hold up. <laughs> let's look at the uh, let's look at the directions again, because I guess I misread that entirely. Entirely. Okay, computer symbols. After you register, okay, black line signifies the one of the digits is the correct identity. Oh, the black line. Okay, black I thought indicated wrong. White line indicates the number is correct, but the incorrect position. White indicates wrong position. Okay, I had him backwards for some reason, cause I'm silly. Let's go ahead and try that again. Um, yeah, go in. Okay, let's try that one more time. So. One, two, three, four. I think it's a good starting position. Go. Okay, we identified one of them, but they're in the wrong position. So we could do something silly like four, three, two, one. See if reversing it helps. Nope, still in the wrong position. Um. So. I mean, how do you how do you change positions without? I mean, still being able to identify it. I see go. Um, four, five, six, seven, and see if the four is it. Okay, so two of these are in the right position. One of these. And either four or seven, I mean, one of these is not in the right position, but is the right number. I'm going to assume five, six. Let's try it. One, five, six, seven. No, no, one, five, six, well, yeah, one, five, six, eight okay one is correct two are identified but in the wrong position how we do nine five four one okay i'm guessing the five is correct Five six is not. But maybe four five is. Four five one three. I think four five is correct. And then the other one would seem to indicate that six belongs somewhere. So like four five one six. Now six is correct, but in the wrong position. Four five six one. Hold on, I did something wrong there. Four, five, six, one. No, now only one is in correct position. So that means it must be 51. Four is not part of it then. It's gotta be six, five, one, and zero? No, then zero is not a thing. Okay, six, five, one, four? Okay, I think six five one is correct. Four is not in the sequence. 
the sequence might include what might it include? It might include a nine. Six five one nine. Closer. Um all right, so six five one eight. I think eight was a possibility there. No, not quite. We have three in the correct position. So it's probably a 651. But we can't figure out that last digit, man. We have only one guess left. Okay, look at these other stuff. We have the five. We have the six. Okay, 651. Okay, so we did one, two, three, four. Only one of them was correct. That's obviously the one. We did four, three, two, one. One was correct. It was just in the wrong place. Four, five, six, seven. That was the five and the six that were correct. Oh, the seven was out of position. No, 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 no. The seven was in the correct spot. It's six, five, one, seven. Yep, there you go. There you go. Figure it out in 12 turns, though. Oh, I should have figured that earlier. All right. I'm starting to get my head around this. Let's do one more game of this, and we'll switch to Nim. Um, yeah, give me what you got. Okay, so um, let's go backwards. Nine, eight, seven, six. Because you got to start somewhere. That has none of them. None of those are in it. So nine, eight, seven, six, out of the game. Okay, that makes it easier, right? I mean, just like five, four, three, two. It's got to be one of those. And then... One, two, three, four. We can see which if four is actually in the sequence or not. Well, obviously, at least three of those are. They have to be. Um, so one, two, three, maybe. No, it can't. Well, okay. So one of those is in the correct position. We did five, four, three, two. And then one of them wasn't in the correct position but was the right digit so it's probably like five four one two i'm just guessing no okay so those are two of the correct digits but since we're missing three it's not enough two of the correct digits been in the wrong position We can't do zero. Zero doesn't is not a number we can use. Yeah, that doesn't actually work. I mean, I could leave a blank, but what good does that do us? Um, I'm really puzzled how that works. So five, four, one, two. One, two, three, four has three of them in the correct position. So like two, three, five. No. I don't think five is it. Do you like nine, eight, seven, five? Five's not in there. Is it just one? Two, it can't be one, two, three, four. No, it can't be because it, when we did one, two, three, four, there were only three in the correct position, but it didn't say anything about the fourth digit. Can actually have zero. Is it zero, one, two, three? Doesn't let you submit that. So, um, there's only so many digits we have here using the Arabic numbering system here, and you're not giving me enough choices with your freaking frick a frac. Okay, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What am I missing? Five isn't part of that. We tried that with nine eight seven five. We know nine eight seven are not part of the sequence. We know six isn't, and now we know five isn't. So what's the secret here? I'm missing something obvious. Could you repeat numbers? If you can repeat numbers, yeah, you probably can repeat numbers. So it might be something like 
two one two three or something like that. Maybe is four part of the sequence? Yes. And in fact, four is in the correct place. Okay. I would guess that three would be in the correct place. That's just a guess, though. It is correct. It can't be one, two, three, four, because we tried that. But it could be like two, two, three, four is one part of the sequence. It is, it's just in the wrong place. Okay, then is two part of the sequence? It's not. So it's like one, one, three, four. One, three, three, four. So close. So close. All right, we'll go and switch over to Nim now. Um, yeah, repeating digits actually throws the whole game out in my head. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, well, okay, so here's Nim. Uh, winner removes last computer sets up. Sure, go for it. Okay, so the objective here is to move a block. And how do I choose? Try using the controller here. Um, all right. I'm just hitting buttons, I guess. It's not working. Um, I guess you're supposed to use numbers here. So, like... Okay, computer's gonna grab... Whoa! Computer just took four blocks away. So, how do I do this with numbers? I'm just pressing digits now and seeing what the button... Okay, one... Okay, I just did one. And the computer took, like, three away. Okay, pressing one doesn't do it. Two doesn't do it. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, nine doesn't do it either. Zero. Star. Star moves me over. Okay, that would have been good to know. Okay, star moves me over, and then I hit plus to get rid of one. Or I tell you how many how many I want to take away. Okay. Computer takes the last one away, so it wins, I guess? Yeah, okay. Do that again. Alright, so now that I know how to move over, I suppose I could have just read the manual. That would have worked, too. Um, and I want to make sure I take the last piece. That takes strategy, right? So if I say I take four from here... What if I take four from here? Take four. Just crazy enough to work. Okay, computer takes one. Uh, if I take one away, the computer just takes two. But if I take two, I think the computer has to take only one? Nope, he takes two both. Okay. Nope. All right, so that didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. So, let's take away three. You're taking away three. Um, then I take away one here. You take away two. Um, I brought back myself into a corner here. I take away two. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. I take away one here. Computer I can only take one from one stack. So that makes it so that I win. Because then I take that one. There you go. Okay, you just have to think a little bit. That's all. Just got to think a little bit. Let's try that again. All right, computer just took three. I'm going to take two from here. He's going to take three from there. Um, I'm going to take one away from there. He's going to take one away from there. Okay, he wins. Yeah, I took too many away from the other one. Okay. Took too many away at the beginning. That's what caused that. Alright, let's try that again. Take away one. He took away an entire stack. It's crazy talk. Alright, um, take away one here. He'll also take away one. How did I trap him before? 
It was an accident. That's all it was. It was a total accident. Yeah, then I take away one here, and he still wins. Okay. Got to make sure I can repeat the accident. Okay, the computer just takes away one giant stack. Um, I could do the same here, but that's not helpful. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three away from here. He takes away three, but then I take away one, and he takes away one. And that doesn't work. Him being able to take an entire stack is nuts. Um, I guess I could do that since I start this time. So I say I take this entire three stack. You take one away from the top. Um, I say I'm going to take one away. No, I'm going to take two away from this top. You take two away from that top. Okay, I take one away. You take one away. Well, now when I take one away, okay, so that doesn't work. Maybe I need to get rid of another stack or another part of a stack. Okay, he just took away the whole stack there. It's an interesting strategy. It seems to be working out well for him. Obviously, me taking a whole stack away from here doesn't work. Because then he'll just take away his whole stack and then he wins. If I take away one from the stack, he could take three away from the other stack. Three away from either stack. Um, but then that would leave me an opening. If he takes... Yeah, so if I take one away here, he takes one away there. Well, now we're on a one-to-one -one game, right? I take one away, he takes one away. I take one away, he takes one away. And I take one away. Then I win. Assuming we do one-to-one. -one. Or, I take one away from this away, from this stack. He takes away both on that side. Then I take away one on this stack, or both on this side. So, actually, I think either way I win. He takes one from that stack. Then I take one away. Then he takes one away. Then I take one away. Yeah, either way I win. Okay. Don't think there was any way he could have won that. Um, Alright, so I think we just try duplicating his move now. Is I want to just take five out of the stack entirely. Okay, now we're on the one-on-one -on -one game again. So, we gotta make sure we manipulate the one-on-one -on -one game so that we win. No matter what happens. So, if I take three from here, he'll take three, that's it, we're done. I take two from here. Let's say he takes two. Then I take one. He, he takes one. He wins. Um, I can take one away. And then he takes one away from that stack. One for me. One for him. One for me. One for him. He still wins. Is there a good way for us to win here? If I take two away, it really depends on him not duplicating my move but he totally did he totally did hmm so when you go second you duplicate their move and that means you win let's find out if that's true because we're about to go second here all right so he just took all the five away we just tried that didn't work well for us all right so we take away one away let's duplicate the computer's move here he takes one away i take one away you take one away. I take one away. You take one away. And then I win. <laughs> okay. So when you're in a secondary position, assuming we duplicate that same thing, we duplicate the computer's move, what do you do? Okay, you take one away. Okay, but see, that's a good way for me to win. But how do I win this? Maybe there isn't a way. Maybe this is just... It might be like checkers... Or like Solitaire, where once you find... Or Tic-Tac-Toe. Once you find a winning strategy, you just always do that move. And then whoever starts last is just fucked. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's how that goes. Alright. So, that's it then. We lose 3 to 8. I'm totally fine with that. Alright. So that'll do it for the Code Breaker and Nim. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Atari Vault. I'm PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.